Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're going on a road trip. Nah, just joking. <laughs> Fooled ya. I mean, technically it is. Technically, yeah. Just into town to donate more money to the lumber place. We're going on a supply run, guys. We are going, well, huh, you're just gonna have to wait and see what we're gonna do. So, right along with us, we're gonna go get some supplies. Let's do it. Good morning from the ridge. It's not a jungle, it's just our garden. Ha 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 ha, it is. Oh, I'm getting my first peas, you guys. I mean, they're just. They're super easy to preserve, eating them right off the vine. We had that same problem last year, so I'm not mad at it. That's the benefit of, you work hard in the garden, you get to eat hard in it. So. Yep. No, I'm just, uh, we got things to do, guys. Um, I know I kind of let some little mini beans spill on the coffee chat this morning, but we got some big changes coming to the homestead, and we feel it's about time we tell you all about it. Yeah, um, we've got visitors, and, and they're probably going to be here and gone by the time we even get this video out. <laughs> um, but this is, you know, just kind of letting you all know this might be how far we're behind on videos. I don't know, but... You know, today is Monday. Yeah. Memorial Day. And we're um, working. And so we're we, working. We spent the weekend playing. And uh, yeah, we have work to do. A lot of work to do. Uh, we have visitors. Uh, all of you might know Aunt Sherry that is always bopping in the chats and in the lives. And uh, her and Uncle Bob are coming down for a visit. Let's step to the shade. Oh, should make me stand in the sun where I'm sweating my everything off. Well, I, I kind of like it. Well, just lay it down. Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Hopefully, it's not all wiggly jiggly now. Cause, yeah. You know, we bought a tripod for a reason. Well, I was standing in the sun, and I'm sweating profusely, and it was like... Whew. But I ain't mad at it. It's a whole lot better than all that white stuff that comes down in the wintertime. Yeah. So, anyway, we've got to get ready for Aunt Sherry and Uncle Bob to roll in on Thursday. Uh, and... Guys, we have to work. We, we There's no time for lollygagging. I'm gonna be cracking that whip. He's already been upset at me. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. So I've got some garden stuff I gotta get done. And then we got some general cleanup. We get need to get the nugget put back in the nest. We gotta clean out the tiny house. Yeah, there's just a lot of, we've been on the go, go, go. So like the tiny houses became a hot mess. You got like a path to get through it, that's it. And that just doesn't work because it's a tiny house and you need that extra yeah. little space um and then just the general cleanup around the property like we've done projects and then left the stuff laying around so i've yeah. already taken one load up to the road for the the trash this week i've got another load in the back of the polaris for burning um yeah. we've got a lot of feed bags i need to add to it but i'm gonna have to dump this load first and, and yes i know there's tons of things i could do with the feed bags guys i just don't have the time so eventually when i'm more in my leisure days I'll be doing stuff with the feed bags. Until then, yeah. we got work to do. And why are we talking? We got work to do. They need to know what we're going to do. But that always changes, is it? I'm enjoying change? the shade. All right. Oh, gosh, you got me, y'all. Okay, time to get to work, guys, because we're adding a new person to the ridge. Step one of getting all this is, well, we need to get the nugget back in its nest. And it's a little challenging. Like, I, what we really planned on doing, that's why it's still hooked up is we were gonna <laughs> dig it all out like we've talked and bring gravel in and get it level to where we don't have to have boards. But fortunately, we don't have that kind of time. No. So, all right, I'm gonna jump in the truck. Okay. My bride is gonna guide me in and hopefully we can get these tires lined up. It's real fun because it's on the blind side, guys. So it's one of those, like she has to be on either side. It looks level, but it's not. Yeah. So I'm gonna do my best to guide him in and uh, we'll see how many times it takes us, guys.
that went way easier this time than it did before. Thank God. That actually is more stable than the other version because I've got the six by sixes. be a whole lot better when we get the gravel in and we don't have to worry about being up on boards like that. All right guys, so stuff going over to the burn area is staged for now. And I got the back of the Polaris cleaned out. Now let's see if we can take 9,000 pounds of stuff out of the front room of the tiny house. All right, load one. Now it's gonna be nitpicky stuff, so I won't put to you through the torture of watching that, but yeah, I'm gonna load this up and then it's gonna go in the cargo trailer where all the merch shirts are. While Mama still works on perfecting her garden area. Hi. I'm changing coriander. Oh, let's go see what she's doing, folks. So I need to come in here and I'll feed this all to the rabbits. But I need to restart more cilantro or I says I can regrow it. So I'm hanging the coriander leaves and whatever seeds drop can then propagate in here. That's the theory. I don't know if it'll work, but it's not a cool dry place, but I don't know. I'm gonna go feed these to the bunnies. Okay, so I don't know whether or not I did that right or wrong. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a shot, right? It was completely uh, taking over the pepper plateau and I didn't want it to like totally scrouch out my peppers. And then I've harvested tons of cilantro. I'm gonna go in and I've also harvested my first batch of oregano. So I'm gonna get those on to the uh, dehydrator and get that running. It's gonna take multiple batches because there's a lot of cilantro, but I'm not mad about that. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're going on a road trip. Nah, just joking. <laughs> Fooled ya. I mean, technically it is. Technically, yeah. Just into town to donate more money to the lumber place. We're going on a supply run, guys. We are going, well, huh, you're just going to have to wait and see what we're going to do. So, right along with this, we're going to go get some supplies. Let's do it. We gained a passenger, y'all. We did. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, she's come along with us, and we're going to go ahead and continue on to our supply run. Right, baby? What she said. Because we got stuff to do, and I know y'all have been waiting. We got to do it. You've been waiting. So, uh, we're going to give you what you want. Quit being so bossy. You ready to go donate, baby? <sighs> I mean, I'm never ready for this kind of donation, but you know, Lowe's appreciates us, I guess. No, they don't. They should. They don't.
need more up there. guys guess what we're gonna work on put your uh, guess in the comment So they didn't have everything we needed at the first stop. So now we're at another stop. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they'll have it. Depots for the homes. Well, that it's a glorified or... shed. It's yeah. gonna be fine. go home work still don't know what we're working on mm. hang on we'll fill you in in a bit one of the things we purchased was finally getting a screen door for the back you know better late than never let's try it out latches job done you guys guessed the YouTube studio, you are 100% correct, y'all. We are going to uh, get started on it. I wasn't fooled at all. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, we were undecided whether we were going to mill the no, subfloor. No, not around here. I know. Or buy the subfloor. And we chose to buy the subfloor, but we chose plywood. And that way we can stain it and varnish it. And that's our final floor. So. It won't be a double process. It'll just be one. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I know you are because you've been telling us you are. So, babe, let's do this. Why well, haven't done yet? I was waiting on you, whatever you were doing. Oh, I was gallivanting. Okay, so we need staple guns and knives.
are ready for the subfloor. So with all these uh, projects we have going on, uh, EBL reached out to us and sent us a little bit more beefier of a power bank. It is the EBL 2200, babe? 2200. 2200. And it's running the compressor with no problem right now. What I like about this one, don't look at the screen, it was in the camper. <clears throat> It turns on and it's got a really nice display. Of course, it's hard to see out here. And your outlets are over here. You've got your AC outlets. You've got your DC outlets and your DC input. For the it, solar panel? Yeah, and our solar panels will work for this. You know what, babe, I just realized something. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, looky there. Probably should have left it on in case you scratched it again. We're too late yeah. now. And this will turn on the AC. That'll turn on the DC. And you got all these power ports down here to charge with. And we're really looking forward to utilizing this EBL, even on our trail system to build bridges and whatnot. We've got the charge port. And there's actually a mode. This has a 600 and a uh 1200 watt i think it is and then on the back Check if it gets out. too late it actually has flashlight nice and it it's hard to see it in the sun but it is a very bright unit and it's actually a little bit smaller than our previous one but more powerful so you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck as far as size goes so we're gonna put it through the trials yeah. today. Yeah, and I, had, we started this project, and it was it was at 42% because we had used it a little bit over the weekend, um, and I'm only down to 30%, you know, running the compressor, uh, and while well, we just started using the air, so it does really well um, for the high equipment. The only time that we've seen it is if the compressor is running at the same time you're running like our big 12-inch chop saw you'll hear the compressor kick down. So we just typically wait for the compressor to quit running. But yeah, this thing is more lightweight than the last one we got. Uh, very easily to move around and you've got all your power outlets. And instead of dragging extension cords, that's why I brought it over here is 
I can move all this stuff around and I don't have nine main extension cords. I'm really looking forward to using it on one of our other projects. Just wait and see for that. But it's gonna be on the way down to the creek. All right, back to work guys. Now we have to cut one of the sheets down to 48 inches because you want to stagger the seams of the subfloors. That's what we're doing right now. Gotta help me disappear From all those voices that I fear And all the moments I can handle Cause I'm different You have to promise to stay near Oh, you're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on Got the mind to see what's coming And you're my ears when I can't hear You know what's right from wrong And what to say and what to wear You know there's more than I can bear mm -hmm. You're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on Just like you know that I always do Oh, listen now, I'll ever make it So help me pull through Whenever I've been off more than I can chew That's when I lean on you You bring me home when I'm distracted yeah. You put me where I need to be I never would have acted I need your eyes when I can't see Oh, you're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on you Just like you know that next thing is since this is gonna be our final floor we are trying to kill two birds with one stone we don't know but we feel that we're gonna cover it all in plastic and build right over it to protect the floors and then cut the plastic out later 
That's the theory. That's why we went with plywood instead of OSB. And that way, as we're going along, like we have a big stack of two by fours and they're, they're truly, there's probably enough to get all the walls up, maybe. At least uh, all the exterior, but. It's gonna be close. It, yeah, and so this will allow us, like we can get so far and if it ends up being, hey, it's only three exterior walls, well the subfloor is still protected. Like yeah. we're not cutting that out to the very last or until we get it sealed up. Yeah, and I'll be staying in the plywood and varnishing over it and that's going to be our finished floor that's in theory so we have some leftover greenhouse plastic oh uh God. hopefully if it's hopefully it's enough and we're going to try to get it covered he's always a kid Ooga. i don't think it's enough Houston, we got a problem. I thought there was more, but I remember we had to cut for the greenhouse again. And then we cut some for that table process. Oh, brother. What do we do? I mean, if we want it covered right now, then we take what we save from the greenhouse. Now we're buying new greenhouse plastic next year. Well, we're buying something either way. So we won't need this, I don't think. Let's pull this down for now. I'll go get that other batch of plastic. Let's close it. Nothing, right? I think so. Okay. Well, we're done, guys. But that's huge progress for us. We appreciate everyone being patient uh, as life happened and we were able to, uh, not able to work on the YouTube studio, but we are back at it. We are committed to getting it done and it makes it totally different too i mean we've had the subfloor or the framing for the subfloor for a while and just been looking at it looking at it, but it, it now that it's all we got the the reflectix down and we did the subfloor and we even marked out some preliminary sketching marks with some painters tape for where we think we might want some things and that's just a lot of fun 
we're excited to have it done. So we want to thank you guys for being here and supporting us. Uh, <clears throat> and also we want to thank EBL for uh, sponsoring this video and sending us this amazing power bank. Uh, we were able to run without having to plug in and I mean, it wasn't even fully charged. Yeah, like I said, I think I said it earlier, was we started off with it at only like 40 or 42 percent today. Um, and it ran for quite a while. And it's not going to take long to to charge, babe, because how long? Right, an hour and 15 minutes this thing can be, and it's got a dual switch mode, which is really cool. So you can charge it slower if you want it, if you don't have a, a enough amperage left in your breaker box, or you can put it on supercharged fast, and it's an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and it, it's going to be invaluable as we venture down to the builds down by the creek. Uh, we have quite a few projects that this is going to be so <laughs> important to have. But uh, while we were also working on this, I was making us some sourdough bagels, y'all. And I gave us a little nibble nibble earlier, and I'm hungry. Yeah, definitely hungry time. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Peace out from the ridge. Later.